Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Virgo. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. All right, so the Justice card could be dealing with a Libra. So fair, balance, um, honesty, uh, payment, repayment, debt, karma. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So, um... And you're trying to balance out your love, the love that you have for a particular person, or this is what they're doing with you. Or now somebody's trying to be fair and balanced with you. Could be the mother of their child, the empress here. Um, someone could be looking at you differently. There could be uh, that someone is with child here. Let's see. Yeah. Somebody wants to have a better relationship with you, a healthier relationship with you. You're not sure, Virgo. Um... You're not sure if this person has changed. Maybe you cut them off, you cut them out, or um, you just don't know if you want to allow them back into your life. This person feels indebted to you, though, uh, for whatever reason. Maybe you were very good to them, very good natured, and they just didn't show up in the best, uh, best light, best capacity. They like they just took you for granted. They lied. They were unkind. Um, they did what they wanted to do. Yeah, now this person wants to communicate with you. They want to state their intentions. They want things to come to a conclusion. Maybe, you know, the separation to come to a conclusion. Now this person is kind of um, stuck on you or wanting the relationship back, wanting a new start or wanting to take something to the next level. Um, maybe even to show you that they've changed. What is the advice for Virgo here? And it could be vice versa. What is the advice for Virgo? What is the advice for Virgo? The advice for Virgo. Okay, the temperance card. So, um, take the middle ground with this. Because, you know, be centered in your emotions. Don't go too far to the left or too far to the right. Don't just fall back into this. Um, have some compromise there. Let this person prove to you if they have changed, if they are more balanced. Um, it says salvage the relationship too. Yeah, the star card. So you may have to forgive, reconcile, um, forgive and release the, the baggage from this connection. You don't want to carry that with you. This is the advice for you. Um... Put yourself first also. Yeah, four of swords. Think about the future and what it holds for you and this particular person. Um, because their relationship is still fragile. Like it could still fall apart. And there was already um, separation here due to the fact that somebody, you felt like somebody was, you know, there was infidelity. Um, there was also somebody playing games. And, and you're also like on this healing journey, right? You don't want them to come in and kind of unravel you or take you out of balance. Yeah, you're just fearful of that. With the devil card showing up, could be Capricorn. Um, you're fearful that maybe somebody hasn't gotten rid of a third party also. Yeah, could be your husband. Yeah, they hadn't gotten rid of a third party. Um, so, can't make it up. Seven of Swords. So, it's just like, do your homework. Ask ask. <laughs> Ask the necessary questions um, before you start to rebuild here. Uh, do forgive and be compassionate, but at the same time, don't you know? Um, do your research in hope in hopes that you don't find yourself at the same place, this tower moment with your person again, because they're holding back um, and they're keeping secrets. So it's just like ask questions. Don't just allow them to come back. Um, let's see what the Butterfly Oracle deck has to say uh, for you. Let's see. The Butterfly Oracle deck. Uh, welcome the news. So it could be newness for you, sentimental feelings. Maybe there's the leftover uh, feelings that you have for your person. Um, join a group of people that can help you move forward, whether this is just um, recreation and leisure or it's like healing group. Um, finances look like they're going to get better. 
uh, finances are um, significant, uh, they could be getting better, better, or you might need to kind of um, really look at your financial um, stance to see where you are. Does say welcome the new. There is newness here for you if for the taking. You don't have to go back to this yet. Uh, I don't know if you're waiting for something in your financial sector, maybe a divorce or you're thinking about a divorce and the money that you'll have to pay out. Um, you want out of something, but you're afraid, you're scared. Um, you think that somebody's going to wipe you out or take all that you have. Um, before you divorce or separate, you're thinking about... Um, Parting with your money, says the Seven of Cups. You feel like this is a big decision here. This is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Take care.